Peace, good people. What's up, people? Peace. Peace, peace, peace. Give y'all a little bit of time to hop in the room. What's going on, everybody? Peace. Peace, peace, peace. Trying to give it a minute before I start. I'll have a lot of time. Because I know my son, my baby boy, he's going to wake up in a minute now from his nap. So, I wanted to, to hop on the live because if I didn't do it now, I wouldn't do it later. So, and we kind of got some energy circulating. So, I got to get it off. But I hope y'all are doing wonderful today. You know, maintaining your sanity as best as possible. While we living in this insane asylum. <laughs> So, now also, you know, before I start talking, just give the disclaimer, y'all. I do not DM. So, anybody that's new to following, if you're receiving DMs from a page, it's not mine. I don't have any other backup pages. And I also do not DM for readings. All right. So, you know. Um, but, yeah, I don't really have a lot of time. So, I just want to come and hop on for a second and kind of. You know, kind of do this for a real, for a quick minute because me myself, a lot of energy has been a lot of uh, I don't know I, I don't know if it's been like that for anybody else, but it's been a lot of strong pulls. It's been a lot of strong pulls, and it's coming from all directions. And I'm always one, you know. I'm always saying you gotta, you know, keep yourself mentally prepared, keep yourself spiritually prepared, because. This is spiritual warfare. This is psychological warfare. The, the battlefield is your mind. So a lot of things that's happening is just transpiring up here. Because, you know, that is what creates the reality which we are in. So it's a lot of things that's going on right now. And it's a lot of... We, we, we... Actually, we in a time... We got this lunar eclipse happening right now. So we got a lunar eclipse happening right now. We in the eleventh month. We in the month of November, right? So we in the we in the we in the dark season, right? We going into we're in the period where there's more darkness versus light. If we just talking about season, seasonally speaking, right? So all of this is happening. We got this whole thing going on with Kyrie. We got this whole thing going on with Ye. And it's funny. It's not really fun. It's funny, but not really. Because both of them brothers are 11 light paths, right? So, both of them carry the 11. We've heard Kanye, we've heard Ye refer to himself as the, as the dragon, right? So, a lot of this is just the way my mind works, right? Because I study so much symbology. It's just... It's like a, I don't know, it's like a flash. It's just so much going on right now. Even if, even down to the whole situation with Takeoff. Rest in peace to Takeoff. You know, condolences to his family. Takeoff was an 11. Takeoff was an 11. And then if you look at their names, Kyrie, Kanye, and Takeoff real name was what? Kahari? Like, this is, this is all, this is all, man. And his funeral is on 11-11. His funeral is on 1111, and we're looking at 11. 11 is portals. 11 represents the right above the limitation that's set. Just think about it. We just, when we think about the way magic works, you just got to think about the way your mind is formulated to view your reality in this present state of time. Most of the time, we, we do a countdown from 10. Most of the time, 10 is like the limit set. So, 11 is representation of just over the limit that is set. Breaking the bar, right? So, when you're talking about 11, when you get into Kabbalah, when you're looking at the tree, 11 is the hidden Sephiroth. It's Doth, which is heavenly knowledge. That's the abyss. That's the representation of going into the darkness to get the light. It's the representation of the Elohim energy. So when we're talking about this 11, all this that's going on, because 11, when you're saying 11, it's also a means of understanding 
that it's a way that how can I put it like for opposites of ideas that we hold to be true to come together because you going into the most high form of knowledge so when I say spiritual warfare the the depth of this knowledge is hidden so we talking about 42 now I showed you and I broke down looking at the English language and looking at most of how we the words and things that we formulate our identity behind correlates to the number 42 now shout out to the people that was in the comments that was able to recognize that you can take 42 even deeper than that there's even more hidden meaning to 42 because it's a sacred number that goes back to the creation of the universe which is the snake, which is the infinity symbol. Now, we are programmed to view this energy as negative anyway. That's that's the hijack. The hijack is to take all your empowering knowledge and to just reshape it and to make you a self-hating Negro. That's what it does. That's why it's a spell. That's why we live in an upside-down world, and that's why the knowledge is now perverted because... We are under the spell of the beliefs that formulate this reality that turns us against our own energy. Because we're not supposed to be fearing no snake. We're supposed to have a way deeper understanding of what that knowledge entails. The great mother itself is seen as the snake. If, even if we're talking about dragons, I was talking about this on Twitter. Why are there so many medieval myths and legends about slaying dragons? That's because we the serpentine people. The serpentine fire. We the Nagas. The Nagas, the spirit people, the Kundalini energy. So if you're trying to conceal that which can't be concealed anyway, because we only we can go against our own energy. Only we can go against, only we can do that. We have to be turned against ourselves to do that. So everything that's ours is flipped and perverted. So everything that we see that we find is monstrous and bad, morally bad, we call it demons. We don't understand, but if we get to the origin, if we go back deep enough, go back far enough, and if we dig deep enough, you'll understand the use of what demon come from and why they started to label these things demon because they was covering up your science because everything is to put you in a mind warp so you don't know what's going on and for the people that can see it's really like we in a, a it's, it's, we in an insane asylum for real so that's why we always seeking community with each other that's why we always seeking connection with each other because we feel crazy out here. Because we, it's, could you imagine being in, being in an asylum and you don't belong there and you just looking and able to see any and everything that's going on around you? How can you not go crazy? How can you not want to alienate yourself? How can you not want to just, how can you not? So these things can drive you like that. So a lot of times, that's why a lot of us, we seek this, we seek this community, man, because it's hard out here for us. It really, truly is hard out here. So I appreciate any and everybody that's willing to stand on their own truth and share these hidden truths that they don't want us to know. Because this is all by design. And I got it. I have to give credit. You know, I'm not one to say that we, you know, about these celebrities. Now, y'all know I have my critiques. But I will honestly say that for Kanye to put himself on the line like that, for, for, him, for him to bring that exposure, because in order to e expose something, you also got to expose yourself. See, one thing I can say about Kanye is he is completely exposed. So we can say whatever we get. We want to say about Kanye because everything on Kanye is all out there. I can't take that. for. I got to give him credit for being it, for doing it. For being that light to people who need that same type of energy to stand up and do that. Because contrary to probably whether y'all want to believe it or not, because some want to support Kyrie over Kanye, I don't think I don't think Kyrie shares that documentary without all the heat that's going on with Kanye. 
and that's a lot to sacrifice, y'all, because see, we see they they teach us as the public to idolize them because they have material success. Because material success is quote unquote the illusion to happiness. You know, you're supposed to be happy. We just saw Wiz tweet that out the other day. He said, Man, we got so much money, why we out here mad? Bro, that's the point, bro. Is they want you to be under the illusion of these material things, man. That's the whole point of it. Is well, if you have enough of these material things, that should be enough for you to be quiet and get out the way. That's that's supposed to be enough. Now you going against the code. You ain't supposed to. You listen. You got every. You have way more than them other people over there. Now we can easily remind you and send you back over there with them people over there. And because we program with that self hate, it, it's not too many people who gonna sacrifice and get it up. It's not too many people that's going to sacrifice and get it up. But honestly, at the end of the day, it's just supposed to be enough for you to reflect back to you. It's supposed to be for you anyway, because nobody else is ever going to do enough to save you. That's always going to come back into your own hands. That's how it always is going to play out. But, you know, all of this is happening. It's, it's, it's not a coincidence, man. It's not a coincidence. It's just so much of this energy and when i woke up today and i felt it you know it was like i don't know it, it hit me like a wave and then it's crazy we're doing all this talking you know about the the israelites and everything even when you talk about 11 you know it was supposed to only take them 11 days it was only supposed to take them 11 days to get from egypt to israel's only supposed to take 11 days because these are allegories because the 11 is symbolizing going into the abyss. Because you got to go into the darkness in order to really truly get that light. And what a lot of us is seeing right now is a lot of us is not willing to do the work to get that light. So we're going to have to leave some people behind. We is zombie land. This is zombie land. We can't be trying. We can't save zombies. It's too late for them. It's too late for them. It just kind of is what it is at this particular point. We can't feel bad about that. But you got to peep game. But you got to peep game and you got to see it for what it really is. You know what I'm saying? Because it's it's all being spoken to you. So, yeah, I wonder. You know, I feel like somebody probably told him to, 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 to wear that hat. Or maybe even if nobody didn't tell him. Even if he want to say that's just a choice. It's still a subconscious choice. It's still a subconscious choice. Because he's still being revealed to us who you are because you got up there on that stage and decided to, to not stand with him. So you still reveal to us who you are. So either way it goes, brother, we see. We can see. We can see. So, you know, it just kind of is what it is. But I, I just wanted to share that for a minute because I don't have a lot of time. You know, I don't have a lot of time, but I just wanted to kind of, you know, because it was just, you know, something that kind of, I feel like I needed to get that off. But, you know, for the most part of it, that's, that's, that's the way I see it. Cause 42 is supposed to be sacred, but that's, that's buried knowledge. So it's buried under layers. So the more they reiterate the black, the black history, the slavery, the more that's reiterated, that ritual is being performed to cover up the sacred knowledge. To keep us in the state of being a slave. Of being a slave. Now see, it would have been, a, it would have been, it really would have been transformative had he really got up there and stood up. Because see, we in a time right now, like I said, this a lunar eclipse happening right now. You know, back in the old times, they didn't have a direct means of communication. So a lot of times it was symbol I was symbolically spoke spirit symbolically spoke to them on the timing of things based on things like the moon. And eleven is connected to the lunar cycle. Cause that's what the eleven represents. It's it's the eleven by it being the next level, by it being Darth, what that hidden Sephiroth represents, it's about transferring what we see, what we know as evil back to holiness because we're talking about opposites when we're talking about 11. So it's a chance to bring to bring opposing things together. You know, it's the heaven, it's the, it's the representation of the heavenly knowledge. So everybody's not going to be able to receive it. We just, 
we just gotta see people for what it is and who they who they are and what it is. And we gotta move accordingly. That's all we can do. That's all we can do. But I gotta I gotta run. Uh we gonna definitely do another live where I will engage with the, the comments. I didn't really have time today. save this video you know i'm gonna save this video into everybody this you know keep standing on your truth you know what i'm saying keep standing on your truth it's a reason why you know kanye is is labeled what he is and kyrie is labeled what he is it's a reason it's to discredit them it's to discredit them it's to be dismissive of what they saying it's to try and keep people in the dark so at this point in time we just got to see who want to stay in the dark because a hey, because slavery is a choice. That's what he meant. That's what he meant. Do you do you just do you want to stay here? You good? You just good where you at? You don't. Cause right now you if you're not changing, you choosing. What you not changing, you choosing. So you know. I get it. I get it. A lot of people let their emotions get in the way, but it come upon a time where hey, you gotta elevate and see the big picture. But in the meantime, y'all stay dangerous. Peace.